What's up guys, Apoch here. Now in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to easily destroy the Gleox. You have the ice, the thunder, and lightning, and the fire one. Now, I'm gonna be taking on the fire and the lightning in this video. So first off, choose whatever armor you want. I'm choosing the radiant because I was trying to um, double the damage with my bone weapons. Then you should always have rocket shields, have multiple rock rocket shields. Okay, so you're definitely gonna need multiple rocket shields. And then have a really good bow and a weapon with strong damage and then if you can try and make sure you have the gibdo bone there should be a lot of that you should you should pick up a lot of gibdo bones when you're doing the lightning uh, sage in the main story so those are the main things you need good armor good weapon gibdo bone and rocket shields now here's the um fire dragon i'm going to be fighting now this one is pre-recorded this uh, dragon I'm going to show you what I did and what you're basically going to need to do. Now, one thing is you do not want the dragon to fly up. If the dragon flies up in the sky, it's wraps. You don't want to, you want to, it's going to be hard to recover from that. But um, as you can see, I'm activating an attack elixir. I want that increased damage. It's so what you want to do is you want to get as close to it as possible. And then you want to use your rocket. Me, I used mine a bit too soon, but it's all fine. You're, you're going to see. But Greg, try to get to as close as possible before it, before it does an attack and then use your rocket. I'm a bit far, I use mine, and as you can see, I'm going to get hit in the sky. But, you know, if you're not me, you'll get closer. So, I, I've switched, you need at least, I'd say get at least three, three, three rocket shields. But, um... So, yeah, I fucked up that time, but it's fine. I get to do it again. Then, you want to switch to your Gibdo Bone. And you want to shoot it in each eye. Now, with me, this is my first time doing it, right? So, I didn't know how much times I had to shoot the eye, so I just spam the eye. And you can spam the eye if you want, really, realistically. But, um, I only shoot it around three or four times. I had to shoot it four times just to be safe. But in this, I shoot it like seven, eight times. But yeah, you just do that, it's gonna fall over, and then you just wanna damage it. Ideally, you wanna hit it in its eye. When you lock on, sometimes it's hard to, to like lock onto the actual eye, it locks onto like its body, it's kinda weird. You wanna do as, mu you wanna do as much damage as you can, then you wanna switch to your other rocket shield. And just before it gets up, use your rocket shield again. Then, switch to your Gibdo Bone, shoot all three eyes. Look how much damage it does with the damage up. And with the, um, with this bone, with my Radiant Armor. I shoot it four times just for good measures. And then it drops down and you kill it. You should, should be able to two-phase it realistically. You have a strong enough weapon with attack up. It's literally that easy. You can farm these. All these have the same pretty much pattern. So, you can literally do this on all three of the dragons. I'm going to show you the Lightning one next. But yeah, doing this to just farm a bunch of materials is really not that hard. I would, the hardest thing really is just to farm a lot of uh, Zonites to get a lot of rockets to put on your shield. But apart from that, it's pretty easy. So yeah, hope this video does help you out and get to farming those dragons, my guy. See you in the next clip. S see you later. Peace. Turn around, turn around, turn around. One, two, three, I do one more just in case. It's now drop. No, it broke. One, two, it's that easy. Last one. For some reason it wasn't going. Set my scimitar broke, but I can get it back easy. Just like that, dead.
so easy.